welcome back to the class dear students uh, so i have started everything i need to know i learned in forest an essay written by vandana shiva uh, i already uh, we have we are done with the first part of it where vandana shiva talks about her early life how a woman in her village uh, encouraged or uh, inspired her to uh, participate in chikko movement how they led resistance against deforestation i was discussing monocultures in class class beyond monocultures so monocultures means you know in a particular area land only one type of crop is grown one jaga idre one tarah da one crop na bedtare beyond monocultures adikinta beyond the yen maadu vandana shiva uh, in her book monocultures of the mind a book written by vandana shiva she uh, you know talks about how if we fail to understand biodiversity it will lead to impoverishment of nature and culture impoverishment poverty if we fail to understand biodiversity that will lead to poverty that will lead to impoverishment of nature and culture so vandana shiva uh, uh, you know advocates polyculture polyculture uh, in a particular area variety of crops are grown so vandana shiva doesn't uh, agree with monoculture type of farming but she here is advocating biodiversity intensive farming and uh, to demonstrate uh, that we can grow variety of crops in a particular region she started navadanya farm in the year 1994 in pune valley of himalaya region in the uttarakhand so uttarakhand ali she started navadanya farm in pune valley in the year 1994 and in that particular farm vandana shiva has grown variety of crops she has grown nearly uh, 630 varieties of rice 150 varieties of wheat and hundreds of other spices so in that form she has grown variety of crops uh, 6 630 varieties rice 150 varieties wheat and other varieties of spices so biodiversity intensive form of farming produces more food and nutrition per acre so this kind of farming in a farming where you grow variety of crops in a particular land only jagal is to varieties of food na grow madodinda crops na grow madodinda adenagutte biodiversity intensive farming anta karitare idakke so in this biodiversity intensive form of farming when you grow variety of crops then it leads or it produces more number of food and nutrition per acre so conservation of biodiversity preserving this biodiversity itself is the answer to the food and nutrition crisis food and nutrition uh, one problem to solve for the cancer you know the conservation of biodiversity the preservation of biodiversity itself is the answer and then after the farm uh, she is talking about navadanya the movement for biodiversity conservation and organic farming that she started in 1987 uh, navadanya farm started in 1994 variety of crops were grown and it will give number of food and nutrition navadanya movement that she started in the year 1987 so in this um, she has worked with farmers to set up more than 100 community seed banks across india we have saved more than 3000 rice varieties and helped farmers uh, so in this under this navadanya movement she has worked with several farmers and they have saved 3000 variety of rice also there was established they have more than 100 community seed banks seed bank and uh, 3000 variety of rices all these come under navadanya movement so these are the achievement that uh, navadanya movement has uh, 
done and you know under this movement it is transition from fossil fuel and chemical based monocultures to biodiverse ecological systems nourished by the sun and the soil navadanya movement under the ishtu farmers jothe work madibodu 100 more than 100 community seed banks na you start madidare 3000 ku hechu variety of rice na you preserve madidare so navadanya movement alli enante they encourage farmers to leave uh, fossil fuel chemical based monocultures so fossil fuel andre all these uh, natural gases coal that they use to leave fossil fuel but the chemical based monocultures chemical spray odibodu one jagal one day crop na beltaralla so fossil fuel chemical based monocultures na bitto a uh, biodiverse ecological system nourished by the sun and the soil so chemical based to fossil fuel fuel based bitto farmers ke a uh, one natural bio डईवर्स एकोलॉजिकल सिसम स्टार्ट मूवेंट सपोर्ट मे अब कैमिकल कड़मी न्याचुरल क्रा ग्रो मैं वेरइटी आफ क्रा वन क्रापल विप सन आंड सॉल सो इन क्राप्स यहाँ नर्चर आगे नरिश बै सन आंड दॉल बयोडी हाज बी मै टीचर आफ अब फ्रीडम कॉपरेशन आंड म्यूचुअल गीवे so biodiversity uh, in vatana shna ke ek kotide it has been a teacher of abundance samruddhi freedom cooperation and mutual giving so navadanya movement start madare navadanya farm start madare ishtala aadmele avu farmers ke chemical based monoculture type of farming idiyala adanna bitu biodiversity intensive farming kadege bandi crops are nurtured by sun and soil so ishtala aagi avu entare biodiversity you will gain kaliside jeeva vaividhya you will gain kaliside samruddhi abundance swatantra kaliside freedom cooperation kaliside mutual giving kaliside so biodiversity has been vandana shiva's teacher of abundance freedom cooperation and mutual giving next part so i hope this is clear uh, beyond monocultures in the next part rights of nature of the global stage here vandana shiva tells us how several countries have the, have given rights to mother earth rights we all have our rights rights for women rights for children that all of us know namge namge the rights ide kelavondu countries alli mother earth नम भूमि तू रईटारेक्वेडारेक्वेडार्ज कंट्री इन सउथ अमेरिका सो इक्वेडार इज अ कंट्री इन सउथ अमेरिका This country has recognized rights of nature in its constitution. Other than the constitution, and where uh, just how we have rights for women, rights for children, rights for every other religion. All of those have rights. Do are they with the rights of nature? And do they not constitutionally include money? There are Ecuador, which is the country that has included rights of nature in its constitution. The country Ecuador. as recognized the rights of nature in its constitution adar constitution alli nature ke adarde adanta ondashtu rights anta recognize madidar and in april 2011 okay so uh, bolivia again it is a country in south of um, america it is uh, the universal declaration of rights of mother earth this country initiated universal declaration of rights of mother earth so you were a country one to other constitutionally rights of nature and are recognized madre bolivia and desha it initiated uh, started universal declaration of rights of mother earth so you were a in its super agbudu ida agbudu you were both the united nations general assembly you were more inspired 
by Bolya's this uh, Universal Declaration of Mother Earth, organized a conference in the year in April 2011. The General Assembly, United Nations General Assembly, inspired by Bolya's Universal Declaration of Rights of Mother Earth, organized a conference in April 2011. Um, on Ordinary with Nature as part of Mother Earth Day celebration. Earth Day celebration na one part aagi. Uh, one conference na organize maanutai. United Nations General Assembly. So, alien and them. Um, based on domination of. So, main topics that were discussed in this conference is to transform uh, domination of people over nature, men over women, rich over poor, into new systems based on partnership. So, discussions that took place in this conference were how to transform domination of uh, nature ki yaar dominant to now, uh, woman ki dominant yaar of men, so rich ki dominant poor, so yella dominant so obru mele obru idita idatala, nature mele manusha na idita idhi, woman mele uh, men idita idhita re, ega poor partha na liror idita yatha idhita, rich ka idhita, so uh, in that conference they discussed on how to transform all of this, to transform the domination of people over nature, men over women, rich over poor into new systems based on partnership. Yella dominations na karni maare, on the partnership agi system na hege create maare. So the, that was the discussion that took place in this uh, conference that was organized by United Nations General Assembly and this conference was organized by taking inspiration on Bolivia, Bolivia's uh, Universal Declaration of Rights of Mother Earth and the country that has recognized the rights of Earth is Ecuador. Okay. Ultimately, environmentally destructive behavior is the result of a failure to recognize that human beings are an inseparable part of nature and that we cannot damage it without severely damaging ourselves. So the UN Secretary General, according to his report, he had made a statement. Ormoni with nature, it is a report given by UN Secretary Council. So in that Ormoni with nature, in that report, he says that ultimately at last, environmental destructive behavior is the result of a failure to recognize that human beings are inseparable. Uh, human beings recognize uh, environmental destruction So nature destruct destruction behavior failure to recognize. Now, nature ka yaam ke destroy maar ke liye hai. Now, so to be one vishya thin kora thakali. Aap vishya hai no? Human being ko matte nature ko inseparable. Human being ko matte nature ko separate alla. Now, we do one day. Now, we do coexist aap ke liye. Now, we inseparable alla. You know, now we do inseparable part of nature. Bere aap ke liye hota one day part nature ke. Itna na aap kora thakali so to be alla. And then now nature destroy the karana. So we cannot damage it without severely damaging ourselves. Nature na now damage maanthi kandre adhi indirect adhi namma na nave damage maanthi kandre adhi yano to artha. Ega nature ki ene maanthi kandre nao destroy maanthi adhi direct effect aya kya manushi ne aanthi. So nature destroy aya to kandre one dina manushi ne destroy aakta ne. So now we do inseparable, now we do bare maana kaadala, nature matha manushana. Then now now atna maana kodak sothiro dhundane. The failure to understand that man and nature are inseparable is the reason for the destruction of environment. And if we destroy nature, it ultimately leads to, leads to destruction of human beings. 
Separatism is indeed the root of disarmony with nature. Violence against nature and people. Separatism. He is talking about an uh, idea of separatism. So the idea of separatism is where human being is separated from nature. So this separatism is the root of this army, conflict with nature, violence against human and nature. The separatism and idea idea are not very very idea. Our idea is main reason no. Now nature destruction ye mata human being mata nature violence ke. Uh, as the prominent South African environmentalist Carmen Kalulan, he says that apartheid means separateness. The world joined the anti-apartheid movement to end the violent separation of people. So here we have a person. Karma Kalinan is a uh, South, uh, South African uh, environmentalist. So this South African environmentalist, Karma Kalinan, he says that apartheid movement, apartheid movement, uh, the movement that uh, took place to oppose racism, kapu bilia the racism with the law. So adra bilada orada apartheid movement aide. So it means separateness. The world joined the anti-apartheid movement to end separation of people on the basis of color. Color on basis may be separatism medical karabe, but as the Kralaka video or not. Itra Pirda or Adaki, whole world came together. The whole world took part in anti-apartheid movement to stop discrimination based on color. Just like that, just how apartheid movement worked. He is saying there should be an eco apartheid movement. So today we need to overcome uh, eco apartheid based on illusion of separateness of humans from nature in our minds and lives. So apartheid aiming to color the basis discriminate matter. Ega, there is one problem that is eco apartheid. Uh, a way of behavior. In this eco-apartheid, people are separating. Human being is separating himself from nature. Eco-apartheid and the human being nature in the Tanu way, where they are the apartheid and the Tanu is separating himself from the nature. So, there, we need to overcome this problem. The problem is now solved manually. We need to overcome eco-apartheid based on Separateness of humans from nature. So, now, even the way human and nature are now separate, man, but I did eco apartheid. Other case, some up. So, either now, now, defeat man, the Kadu, Tumba, Shakate, and the Yara and Terra, Karma, Kalina, and South African, American, South African environmentalism. Uh, environmentalist. The dead earth world view. So, next part is. The dead earth world view. So, keep this. Uh, initially, she talks about Chukwa movement deforestation. Then, in Beyond Monocultures, uh, she discusses about biodiversity, biodiverse intensive form of farming. Navadanya form, Navadanya movement, varieties of crops that she has grown, how much she has learned, what biodiversity has taught us. Next, the rights of nature of the global stage. In this part, she discusses about how these countries have recognized rights of nature uh, and how uh, United Nations General Assembly, inspired by Bolivia, organized a conference and where they discussed about domination of men over women, people over uh, nature, rich over poor. After that, you also the report, General Assembly's report says that man and nature are inseparable. If we destroy nature, it ultimately leads to our destruction. Then, Karma Kalinan and a South African uh, environmentalist, he talks about upper 
apartheid movement anti apartheid movement where people came together to stop discrimination on the basis of color so now the challenge is we need to overcome eco apartheid where nature and people are separated where we are illusion that nature and people are separate entity are separate beings so we need to overcome this idana nam solve maadbeku eco apartheid ne solve maadbeku nature matra human beings separate beings alla avrigru bande the dead earth world theory so i will discuss this um the living earth was transformed into dead matter to facilitate the industrial revolution so we is talking about industrial revolution that uh, started in the 18th century industrial revolution started in the law avaga enante raw materials bekittu so eshtu sadana ashtu cleanna athiya start maatare nature na aan maatare maragalana kadutare industrial purpose koskara so due to industrial revolution living earth jeevantavaadidantaha namma bhoomi industrial revolution inda enaitu dead matter aitu so living earth was transformed into dead matter because of industrial revolution and raw materials dead matter replaced a vibrant earth now on living earth vibrant earth was replaced by raw materials and dead matter industrial revolution in the raw materials for the dead matter now a vibrant earth na replace maadutte ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಜೀವಂತವಾದಂತಹ ವೈಬ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಆದಂತಹ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಅರ್ತ್ ಡೆಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಜೀವ ಇಲ್ದಿರೋಂತ ವಸ್ತು ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬರೀ ರಾ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸುವಂತ ಒಂದು ವಸ್ತು ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವ ಅಂತ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ರೆವಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೊ ರಾ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಡೆಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ರೀಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಅ ವೈಬ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಟೆರನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿಸ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟಿ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರೆಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೇಷನ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ಲೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಜಿನಿಯಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ replaced terra mater terra mater mother earth so terra means empty land mother earth so uh, terra means empty land which is ready for occupation was replaced by terra mater that is our mother earth namma mother earth na terra mater na yenu replace maadu aa jaga ki yen bandu terra na means andre empty land bandu uh, francis bacon uh, father of modern science said that science and the invention result do not merely exert a gentle guidance over nature course they have the power to conquer subdue earth to shape earth to a foundation so francis bacon was considered as father of modern science or he named the name uh our scientists and inventions are kevel on nama nature mele one power exercise maadidalla now he you know in simple words according to francis bacon science and inventions have the power to conquer nature nam nature ne conquer madashtu power science matte invention kida subdue her to defeat her to overpower her to shake her to a foundation so francis bacon modern science uh, father he says that uh, science and inventions are not merely not just to uh, you know to invent to exercise power but science and inventions have power to conquer nature to subdue her to overpower her science mane invention ki eshtu shakti ide andre ee athne conquer madide nature na conquer madi adanne overpower adakinta eshtu shakti shali aagutu avla gudane shake madute ashtu power science mane invention ide so francis bacon supports science and invention Uh, in order to defeat nature but idanna yaar oppose madidare andre caroline merchant so he points uh, you know caroline merchant and uh, 
philosopher and historian Yuvas Eka Feminist. Uh, so, Carolyn Marchand says, Nurture the mother to Enar, dead man to their mother, was well suited to the activities that would lead to capitalism. Capitalism it concentrates on private sector. So, capitalism private sector is just the government. So, Carolyn Marchand, uh, Carolyn Marchand here in the end, right? Uh, in capitalism, we are suitable and helpful as a mother. We are nurturing mother, manipulate mother, and we are not able to make our lives better. We are not able to harm our lives. We are capitalist. So, capitalism is an advantage. But, we are not able to make our lives better. We are not able to make our lives better. We are not able to make our lives better. Francis Bacon and other uh, capitalists took advantage of our mother earth and they are exploiting nature. One does not readily say, slay, kill a mother, dig into her entrails for gold, mutilate her body, merchant wrote. So according to Catherine Merchant, Francis Bacon and all the other, uh, you know, uh, people they exploited mother earth for their advantage but you never kill your own mother or uh, dig her entrails in the past mother earth na nive kondukondu avlana you know dig maadi for gold bangara kosara avlana avlu mutilate her body avla dehana injure maadala alva so you know nature na mother ay compare maadta all these people were wrong. They exploited nature. But you don't, you never kill your own mother, uh, injure her, dig her for good. Who is saying? Carolyn Martin. So, uh, in the next class, uh, there are two more parts. I'll discuss them. Thank you.